I started lifting weights because family issues. Um, uh, my family wasn't, you know, connecting well, and um, and it kind of I, I I began to become depressed every day, and I needed a gateway. So I just one day I just talked to my dad first. I talked to my dad, and he told me about the story about when he was in the military. And I felt kind of inspired, so I came in here. I come in here and just started picking up weights, and I just started killing it ever since. I met this guy, and it seemed like I was just releasing anger. Like, I had a lot of anger and aggression, and I just started releasing all my anger and aggression and releasing those hormones and just really started killing it. Um, when I look in the mirror, I'm disgusted with myself every day. I don't feel like I reach my full potential after every workout. I mean, it's it's kind of a a drug, you know. It's it's, it's some type of addiction. I don't feel like I achieved what I needed to achieve in those two hours I'm in the gym or three hours or whatever. I just need to keep achieving. People think it's a hobby. It's most definitely not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle for me. I um, work out three, four times a day, so maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, it. I gotta. I got to work out. It's. I can't think without working out. I, I don't. I don't even do well in school, like with my education, without working out because I feel. I feel. I don't know what I feel, honestly. I don't know. When I see a guy that's bigger than me in the gym, I get pissed off. I don't care if he's 80 years old, 90, or 100. Like, if I see this dude and he's bigger than me, I'm, it's something that I'm not doing right. Like, even considering my age, I don't consider my age, you know. I, um, I just get mad. Like, I don't care if you're 16, and if you're bigger than me, it's something I'm not doing that's right. Um, I think the most stereotypes that's used uh, is people think that we meatheads don't have brains. I I'm very strict on myself about my education. I'm going to college also. Um, I number one number one thing is I wanna that I want to achieve. I want to be able to be the first person in my family to graduate with a bachelor's degree, what I actual degree. And that's one thing that's very essential for me. But like I said, I want my family to be proud of me. I just don't want to be an average meathead that don't have no career in something, you know? like. I, I want to make my family proud, so I'm, I go to school full time and I dedicate countless of hours in my studies. Oh, 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 oh. Conquering that shit. Let's go. Oh, most definitely. The stereotypes are wrong. I mean, I just started reading like actually getting in the flow of reading recently and I'm starting to enjoy it. Fiction and nonfiction. Uh I'm starting to learn more, like I'm starting to broaden my whole mental, like different language we use. Alright, I'm it's levels. Like McMill says levels. Different languages we use are a newbie. You come in, this is your first time in the gym. You're a newbie. So you go over there with the fives and tens and fifties. Don't come over here with the fifties and up. You stay over there. Um, we got uh, we got regulars where they just come in. You know they do the cardio, do their little resistance training, and they go out. Then we got your your veterans who like they had knowledge in in the weightlifting game. You know they try to give you information. They they past bodybuilders, your past bodybuilders that think they know everything. Uh, listen here, son, uh, you're doing that wrong. Let me teach you. 
how to do that. Um, then you got meatheads. Earphones in, don't speak to nobody, not social at all, leave me the heck alone. I don't want to be bothered picking up 110 pounders and just grunting and don't care about no one opinion. So those are the terms for the gym. It's mathematical terms such as set, reps, uh, we use uh, 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 angles, proper angles, 90 degree angle, 120 degree angle. Uh, we use, uh, we also use uh, what type of bars, like you got an easy curl bar, a barbell, dumbbell. So that's, that's pretty much what we use. Plain terms in here are roid rage. If you got five plates on a bench or something. Oh man, that man got Roy range. So he 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 about to tear it up. So we got fat, we got uh we got a uh, Jim Junkie, the guy that be in here eight hours saying that he's on a machine for ever and he don't ever get off to share with others. You got the Jim Junkies and you got the the weirdos. You most definitely got those. The dudes that do the 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 weird motions, the weird exercises, the you know, the ones with the the guys with the booty cut shorts, the the tank tops with the sweat the very neon colored sweatband, those weirdos. <laughs> so we don't mess with the weirdos. <laughs> I think bodybuilders are the most stereotypical uh, human beings on earth because it's an abnormal figure. Like, people don't look like a muscle hulk just walking the streets. And people tend to, you know, throw negative vibes on everything that they see that's not normal to society. But I feel superior. I, I feel like I'm stronger than you. Don't say nothing negative to me because I will slap you. No, I don't want to do all that, but I feel superior. I most definitely feel superior. I feel like I'm bigger than you. Respect me. <laughs>